Okay guys, I can definitely say that what's happening right now has already broken all records that I've personally set. Alright, first of all, XRP price is doing pretty damn crazy already. A lot of volatility, meaning a lot of people are watching this right now. The Telegram group for the XRP pump got like 200,000 people, which is the max basically. The Discord, which we made to just talk about the pump and talk about everything, is also going completely insane. You can see how many people are just in the voice chat right now, chatting with each other. So come check it out. But most importantly, the amount of DMs and questions I have received is out of this world. So today, I wanna once and for all just say what I think might happen to the price tomorrow, but as long as you guys understand that this is not financial advice, and at the end of the day, I don't even know at all, all right? I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I can just tell you guys what I've heard here, what I think is going on, and a little bit on that note, right? So as long as you have that in the back of your head, comment down below what city you're watching this from right now, and if you're going to participate in the XRP pump and hold tomorrow, as that is a very important subject for it right, today. Pump and hold. Pump and hold, or at least buy and hold. That's basically the motto of this whole ordeal. However, I think it's taken a little bit of a different narrative towards pump and dump, because those things go quite in sync. Whenever something pumps, it's logical that something is going to dump afterwards, like with anything basically, because of logical supply and demand. On a different end though, I think with XRP right now, we are planning to defy some odds. And I think like has already been said in quite a lot of videos as well from others, the plan is for people to all buy together at the exact same time at 8.30, XRP to really take off all the metrics to get those bots just shook and get the algorithm rolling at least or get some i guess anomaly in the algorithm because well such a huge influx of people would definitely ring a couple of alarm bells it could also be i've, I've personally thought about that some of these bigger players have just gotten some crazy buy orders open if it hits a certain spot because they want to take their right upwards basically of course the same thing can happen with sales or with sell orders but i'm just thinking positively here uh, for a little second. It could just be that some people are waiting around the corner, but at least it's going to ring a lot of alarm bells. Uh, the main objective has already been hit in terms of getting popularity for XRP. It's definitely worked. I mean, it's going completely mental. So yeah, that's definitely been uh, ticked off that box. But now in terms of price, I'm going to say there's a couple different scenarios. And the most likely one is that because we all knew that this was going to happen already, and everybody who thinks that the price is going to go up tomorrow, has most likely already bought, except for a couple thousand, let's say a couple 20, 30,000 people who haven't, that will see a small dent, and uh, a positive dent, basically a small pump in price exactly that minute or a little bit like five minutes up front or five minutes afterwards, a little bit around that time, which will really die down rather quickly. That is the highest scenario, the highest probability scenario. The second highest, I would say, is that the price is inflated like crazy a couple of minutes before the pump because we all agreed on 8.30. But the problem is, if you're buying 8.30 and somebody's buying 8.29, he's getting a way better entry than you and ultimately we are selfish human beings and even though there might be 50,000 people who are gonna buy exactly 8.30, maybe 100,000 people will buy a minute or maybe two minutes up front. So there's a good chance that a couple minutes before that the price will actually do the pump in. So 8.30 is gonna actually already be either to dumping or in the hold phase because that's the premise of this whole ordeal. The idea is to buy and hold because from a certain perspective, if everybody's holding it, then who can really be exchanging it, right? Because all that um, velocity basically becomes zero because people hold it. They're not selling, they're not buying more of that because it's being held, right? So they're not doing anything with it. They're not transacting it basically. And I thought about it that way. Like, okay, so that means the price goes up a couple minutes up front. For example, 27, 28, 29, I do not know. It could be 10 minutes, could be 15 minutes, could be an hour up front. It could also be that right from right, you know, let's say six hours up front, the people are going to be starting to buy in heavily because they're watching it and Asia has woken up and whatever. That's really difficult to say. But just a little bit up front, the price goes up and then drops or stays stable at the hold level. The third one, which is very unlikely, but a possibility, is that exactly at 830, everybody just buys like crazy, all right? All these people have been saying, don't buy beforehand, you know? And all these pre-pumps that we're witnessing right now all nothing. Because at 8.30, so many people are putting a buy order in. So many people are buying 
that the exchange does not know what to do. It just goes brr, brr, error, freaking everywhere. A lot of people cannot buy because it's just so extremely filled with people. And that's, again, a big difference because we're not talking about huge sums of money because we're definitely not going to top a billion dollars. And it's definitely not going to be a very crazy day in terms of XRP volume really caused by us. That depends, though. If you're talking direct cause, which means us, 300,000 people buying it, it's not that much money. If you're talking indirect, meaning we're all pumping it at the same time, we're all doing the same thing, it could actually be that so many people are going to be watching XRP go up that they'll actually FOMO in. And those are the guys which will ultimately either profit on if you're deciding to sell or who will help the price go to a newer high from which we can hold. There are a couple of good sides, a couple of bad sides to all this though. And that is that there's a good chance that there's also just nothing happening basically because we're already seeing a lot of pre-pumps and we're all basically in the same situation. So that's again, a, I guess a positive thing because nobody's really going to get hurt. A, a negative thing about this saw as well, what if it doesn't do anything tomorrow? It's going to be a huge letdown for people. On the other end, it could also be that tomorrow is going to be ridiculously freaking crazy. And I think that's what most of you guys are wondering and hoping for, right? That we hit $1, $2, If you're honestly asking me, you cannot say whether or not it can actually hit $3 because fundamentally, I think XRP should have already been there. So getting there with this pump would not necessarily be good, not necessarily be bad because it's not a fundamentally based pump. It's not people are buying right now because of the fundamentals. People are buying right now because it's been told them to buy. And at least half the people don't know what they're buying. So don't think this is good for the fundamentals or anything like that. This is just good for the awareness of XRP because there will always be people who are going to buy right now and hold that we're otherwise never going to do that because of these groups, because of the cohesion or whatever we call it, just everybody coming together here. So that is definitely a longer term bullish thing. And in the end, I cannot really see a really bad side to this whole ordeal anyway, except for the fact that some institutions may look at it and be like, eh, we don't want this pump and dump meme coin that XRP is kind of turning into. So ultimately, I'm not going to say that this is a good or bad ordeal. I'm just thinking that those three scenarios for the price are highest likelihood. And if you're asking me what I'm personally doing, I've already said it. I've actually bought some XRP today. I actually sold some XRP today. I think that's just because we can make some easy profit here and I'm going to do that whenever I can. Because ultimately... I really want the XP price to succeed. So if you guys go and, you know, go crazy in the live stream that I'm doing tomorrow, we might just buy some XRP at 8.30 exactly just for the memes, you know, just because we got to do it for the XP community. But if I were an individual looking out for my best interest in terms of money, I would definitely buy a couple of minutes prior, uh, thinking about the idea that, well, everybody's going to buy 8.30, I would buy 8.28. On a different end, I would also have it in the back of my head that it could also be that people all think that same way. So I should buy it a little bit before that or a little bit after 8.30 because we might see a huge pump and influx at 8.30, huge sell wave of people just taking profit the same minute. And then uh, a minute later, since people are going to be buying the dip again, we see another huge pump. So, you know, you might get a second little chance. I've been in a lot of pump and dumps. It's not never orchestrated by me. I would never think about it in that way. And I would also not recommend you guys to actually join a pump and dump. This is, by the way, not a pump and dump, but a pump and buy, uh, hold, or basically a buy and hold type of situation. Very big difference, by the way. Because the idea is that the price won't go down because people are going to be holding. And I've already debunked that as saying the chance of that happening is very, very small. That people will actually keep holding it because there's hundreds of thousands of people here. And most are just selfish and they don't care about XRP. They care about money. All right. And so since I've been in so many pump and dumps, I've seen this exact scenario quite a couple of times where people are like, well, let's all go for one coin at the same time. It's going to be amazing. The only thing I've never witnessed is 300,000 people doing that. But let's say we've seen 100,000 people. Difference between XRP here and that coin is XRP's idea is to buy and hold. Pump and dump's idea is to just buy it as much as you can, get the price as high as possible and let others pay for it. You see the fundamental difference there? So what, what makes this different? What makes this better? Well, the idea is not to sell it on top people, but ultimately it's going to be the same thing because there will be a ton of people selling. And another question we should ask ourselves is, are there going to be huge institutions or huge people, huge whales who are just buying right now in bulk and going to sell it once we pump it because they don't care? They have all seen the Wall Street best situation. They have all seen all the talks here, there are people here with $10 million plus ready at their freaking hands to just sell it on top of us, which might be a, a pretty huge amount if you consider that most people in the XCP group right now have about $500 at maximum to trade, maybe maybe $100, right? Average, it would definitely not be higher than $500 per person, most likely not even higher than $100, but that's besides the point. If you start to think about it that way, it could be that there are a couple guys are just thinking about the whole 
uh, GameStop situation and how they could have prevented it by actually going with a lot of selling pressure. However, cryptos and those stocks are a little bit differently here. You can actually see that crypto is a lot easier to even manipulate to the downside. If there's just a couple of people who just play some huge sell walls, it could be that the XP community is not going to be ready enough to actually take something like that down because, well, was it really planned properly? Debatable. Is it really a WSB copycat? Debatable. But if you really start to tick off all those boxes, yeah, there's a good chance nothing's going to happen. That's the point I'm trying to make. Again, nobody can really tell you what the price is going to be because nobody really knows how many people are going to buy 830. I don't know. You don't know. And we don't really know how many people are actually going to be holding. We don't know how many people are here for the community, for the project, or just for some quick money. And we also know what type of big players are here out there selling on us. If the price really goes up, what am I thinking? I'm thinking, if the price really goes up, we're going to at least double it. Because I I'm thinking here, 80 cents people will still buy. Of course. $1.40, if 80 cents is really being bought, I think $1.40, people would still buy. Above that, though, I think $2, you're going to have to put your cap. This is, again, only for scenario uh, one, basically, if we pump. $2, I think we're, people are going to really be kind of nasty. And higher than all-time high, the chance of that happening is just so ridiculously small that I'm personally not even thinking about it. Once more, I may very well be wrong because I have no clue. I'm just calling up here what everybody's talking about and to just end this madness of people sending me messages about my price prediction and my ideas because I've gotten at least 500 of them. And I think if I go to Discord right now or just refresh a couple of places here, it's going to be at least another 80 or so in the last... 15 minutes that I've been talking just now. It is madness. It is mad, mad, mad. And nobody knows what the price is going to do. Nobody knows. Do you know how many people actually buy tomorrow? Let me know your guess in thousands of people in the comment section. Because I'm thinking there's 200,000 people in there right now. Uh, at least 50,000 people have already bought or, or are just holding it through. So there's 150,000 people left. But, of course, there's at least 50,000 people who aren't in the group and who are thinking about buying it or something like that. There's a ton of people in the Discord. And, by the way, check out the, the, the Telegram for XLM. This could get pretty big, so check it out. Links down below. So if you calculate it all up, it could still be that there's 200,000 plus people ready to buy at 830. Does that mean they will all buy at 830, though? Well, logically speaking, about 80% of the people don't listen to whatever you have to post. So we can kind of rule those out. I know it's a harsh number, but at least 80% of the people won't really uh, go off whatever you want to post. And at least 10% of the people will not actually participate because they're just here because of the clout, because people are talking about it. So that leaves about 10% maybe of people who would actually buy at 830. And then you should consider again what I've said before. What is the amount of money that they actually have and how much will they actually be buying at 830 specifically uh, on top of others? Because what if people have bought it on the 29th? Or the tw uh, at, at about 829. That means at 80 cents, for example, how much will the people really be purchasing then, the 20,000 people? Well, let's say on average about $100 worth. So that's 20,000 people times $100. Do you think that can really make a huge dent in XRP? Well, debatably, yes. From a certain perspective, because the amount of exchanges are already limited, because the amount of hype that's being placed on top of this, and because of the amount of people and just peer pressure in terms of there's a lot of demand for XRP at this that point, even though it's not necessarily a lot of volume, but just a lot of demand for it. Yeah, the price could actually go crazy. Would that be sustainable? Well, even if all those people buy, it's mostly about the idea that we're doing something right now to, to hold it through. But that's again with the anticipation already that it worked so well for GameStop. It's not really easy to say whether or not we'll actually replicate that, that whole ordeal. Was this all successful, this whole pump thing, or whatever? Yes, because XRP has never been as alive as this, and you can definitely not say there's no livelihood in XRP anymore. Is it going to be long-lasting fame for XRP? Not necessarily. And will the price dump even lower than it was before? Debatably, right? Possibly. So just be aware of that. Uh, personally, I would not recommend you to put any more in than you are able to lose, because even though if you're not selling, you're not really losing out, it could look down. So just think about that for a little second. You could triple your money, you could five-time it, I'm personally not putting anything above $3. I just, I really have almost 0% faith that that's going to happen. Or it's going to be like a flash where it's like one person just put a huge market order in and it just bought through the whole thing. However, think about it on the other way. There's a lot of people who are here just thinking about what we're all witnessing. 
they're watching these videos too, they're thinking, and they're just going to sell or short at all these points, and thus they're going to try basically bet against the community. There's going to be a ton of people because the information is known very much up front. Instead of with GameStop and all these ones where it was actually kind of a new thing, right? A new thing. Nobody was expecting this. And they were basically betting against these huge hedge funds who could not turn around anymore if they didn't want to lose billions, and in this case here, yeah, a lot of people can just switch up. It's not really a big deal. But yeah, that's just my two cents on the whole situation. Let me know what you think about it down below. Um, I'm still pretty excited for XRP. Not going to lie. I'm still very excited about this whole pump ordeal. And I'm, again, even thinking about just buying it at 830 just to show you guys that, oh, you know, I guess we can unite and I'll do it at the same time. Do I think it's ultimately a good thing? Well, well you guys know everything. I'll see you guys again in another one tomorrow, though.